Hello YouTube, Canuck Cowboy here, and I have a very special review for you today. This is a Canadian classic. This is a Cooey Model 75. This is a beautiful little rifle, and Cooey is my all-time favorite gun company. They are all-time Canadian. This thing is made of 100% Canadian material, hammered together by 100% Canadians, and just a hundred percent Canadian design. It is just a beautiful little piece. If you don't know anything about Kukui firearms at all, I believe they were manufactured between 1906 and 1960, somewhere in there. They were mass produced by the millions, I believe, and uh, they are just inherently accurate, inherently strong, simple, safe, really nice firearms. If you haven't had any experience with them, I highly recommend you check them out and watch this video because I hope you're going to learn a lot about this nice little firearm. They are, now this is the older model. They were manufactured by Cooey Firearms out of, I believe, Coburn, Ontario or something like that. Up until they were, then at some point they were purchased later in their uh, production. They were purchased by Winchester Firearms and they changed things a little bit. They basically introduced a lot of Winchester design and they basically got Kui uh, manufacturing to hammer together Winchester guns. So it changed a bit and they're still fine firearms but you might as well just buy a Winchester. So I, if you're looking for a Kui, I would recommend you get the earlier models like this one. Now the first firearm I ever was in contact with was actually a Kui and I believe it was Model 75. It looked a lot like this one. It was my grandfather's rifle and it was sweet. I believe my cousin cousin actually owns it now and uh, it was just nice nice working little gun a lot of varmints were taken with that rifle I guarantee it and uh, anyways I walked into the gun shop the other day and I saw this one just sitting on the shelf and you know the price was right I believe I paid 99.99 tax in and uh, I just fell in love with it because it was it was just a little piece of my history and a little piece of Canadian history and uh, Anyway, it basically is my grandfather's model. I believe the barrel was a little shorter on his, and it didn't have these swivel uh, studs here, but other than that, spot on, action's the same. Now, Cooey made tons of designs, and so this is just one model. They had tons of models. They made 22s and shotguns. I believe even when Winchester took over, they made some 30 out 6 and 308 Winchester, maybe some different more center fires, but Mostly originally it was just shotguns and uh, 22s. Now this is just an ama amazing little design. It's just really nice. It's solid, sturdy. It's uh, virtually indestructible. Now this, as such, this rifle is a little heavier and just bulkier and longer than some modern 22s on the market. But I actually my preference, I like this. This is a real cowboy gun. This is just full size, heavy, nice design. It's more of a full size rifle, which I also like because I'm sort of a bigger guy. It just fits me real well. It's got full length stock and nice long forend on this, and it's got a really long, heavy barrel. It's almost like a bull barrel, which maybe is, uh, maybe that has to do with something with the inherent accuracy of these little rifles, but you know. And they were just really nice. And uh, anyways, the design is a safe action design, which is really nice. I'll show you here. You just open the bolt, put in your, your uh, shell, close it up. You pull back the hammer, and then you just squeeze off the round. Same process. Yes, it is a single shot. And uh, like I say, safe action in design. You can put one in there, go around the woods. There's no way this is going to go off. Pull back the hammer, away you go. So, uh, like I say, they're nice. If you're a beginner, this is a perfect beginner rifle because just because of the sweet little action here. Um, they're, they'd be good for a younger shooter, but like I say, they are heavier. So if you think you're big enough to carry this and tote this around, I highly recommend them, but it's just something to be considered. I really have no complaint about this. I think it's just about the nicest 22 on the market, in my opinion. Like I say, Cooey, I just like the company. They're Canadian, you know, Canadian cowboy rifle, right? Uh, I have no real complaint about them at all. 
the, uh, the, this is just like Grease Lightning. When I first got this, the uh, action was actually really stiff because it looked like it hadn't been cleaned since it was probably bought 60 years ago. And so it was just like stiff, you know, it felt like the old joke where you got to stand on the bolt to actually get it to operate. But uh, now I clean it up and it's just like Grease Lightning, just like all Kuis are, you know. I have no complaint about them at all. They're beautiful working little rifles. Easy to take down. You just pull that and literally they fall out in your hand. Let me demonstrate that more in case you don't believe me. They literally fall out in your hand. So now it's a very simple design. It's just when you pull this back, it catches on the trigger, which is basically a one piece trigger. And then when you pull the trigger, it releases that and pushes the pin forward. Very simple. It's got this little extractor here. Now something to check out if you're looking for a 22 or a Kui firearm is that check that that extractor is in good condition because that can wear out. This is about the only part on this firearm that can wear out eventually. The other part would be, if you actually look at the firearm here itself, there is this little lip in, it's like this little groove in here where this extractor actually swivels when it actually closes the bolt. And that can, where it rubs up against the side of the chamber, you have no idea what I'm talking about, I'm sure, unless you actually are holding one of these firearms in your arm or know what I'm talking about, you've seen one before. But it's rubbing against the side of the chamber here, and that can actually wear thin if it's been used a lot. And like mine has, and it's starting on both the, uh, on both the uh, extractor and on this side of the chamber, it's both starting to wear a little out a little bit. So uh, that's just something to keep an eye on if you're thinking of purchasing this firearm. Same idea, if you just, uh, just to show you how slick this is, all you gotta do is pull the trigger, and it literally, it's back together and just falls into place. And then just work it one time, and it'll be all back, ready to fire. Take down, it's just got this single, just finger screw on the bottom. This whole mess just lifts out. Like I say, the trigger, very simple. It's basically just the trigger, the stem, a pin there, and this little rocker with a spring and a pin there. And a little catch on the other side. Very simple. There's nothing really to break on it. It's all solid. Like I say, you'd have a hard time, unless you were like beating it against a tree or something, you'd have a hard time putting this rifle out of commission. It's good, solid, and very accurate. I would go as far as to say you could put this as a target rifle. I mean, target, target 22. I mean, I don't know if you'd win any competitions with it, but it's just, just pretty good. It's a nice little hunting rifle. I highly recommend it for that. Single shot, safe, very, very safe, like I say. This safe action, probably, I don't know when safe action was introduced, but this was probably one of the first, I would imagine. It's very pretty little rifle, too. I think it's very nice. It's got this sort of, I don't know if you'd think it's gaudy, but it's got a very orange uh, uh, stain or something on it, but it actually, it's just, that's part of the Kui, Kui brand. That's part of what they are. It's got these handy dandy little swivel swings on it and I kind of like that. Now this one is not really showroom quality. It's got some surface rust here, but you know, that's going to come out with some steel wool real soon. The sights are pretty nice, you know, just iron sights, adjustable on the back. The front is also adjustable windage wise, which is also very nice. Metal butt plate, everything on this rifle is either metal or wood. There is no polymer or plastic. This was before those days. So if you're sort of interested in old fashioned uh, rifle, this would be a good one for you. If you're interested in beginner rifle, if you're interested in shoot, just good plinker, if you're interested in hunting, if you're interested in environment control, anything, I recommend this rifle. Something to mention, it's not long rifle. It only takes 22 long, which is out of production, as many of you probably know. And uh, shorts, personally what I use through it is CB shorts, because I do a lot of hunting with it and they're quiet. So uh, that's also a really nice little round. I highly recommend you check those out. Uh, I'm running out of time for this video, so anyways, I'll catch you later. Cowboy signing out.